Is it weird that it bothers me that he's not centered either? Is that, is that strange? Oh, look at that. That's cool. That's smart. For idiots like me, I just go blind staring at the stupid lights. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Okay. All right, get this. Oh, come on, Creality. They tucked it behind the button so that you can't get it. Moving on. Cool. Okay. We're going to play with Creality's Wash and Cure Station. Uh -huh. <laughs> This is what comes in the box with the UW01, Creality's wash and cure station. There's not a whole lot of parts here. This isn't like one of the kit printers we have to put together. It's relatively simple, and if you can handle that, you can definitely handle this assembly. So we have the, the uh, mirror base plate here. Um, we have two adjustable brackets. Well, one adjustable, one fixed. These brackets slide in here, and you can actually screw the build plate to the bracket to have it just suspended in your IPA in the bucket. The other one here is adjustable to allow you to adjust the height of it to lower it down further, um, you know, depending on the size of your print, obviously. A couple small bits, we have some Allen keys, pretty typical. And we also have a bearing. So this bearing is for, yeah, for the spinning mechanism on the bottom of the bucket here. So they use a magnetic stirrer. So there's magnets under there and there's magnets under here or steel and magnets, whichever. Um, and so without any actual contact surface, it manages to spin the little propeller at the bottom, which will swirl our IPA and more effectively wash our print. So in case that bearing ever wears out, you've got a spare in the package, which is nice. We've also got this nice lock and lock style lid so we can seal our IPA so it's not evaporating when it's not in use. And we can use it to wash multiple prints and you'll kind of see a sediment uh, settle to the bottom over time um, when it gets really dirty. So let's put this back in here before I soak the table too much. There we go. So if we're gonna wash our print and yes, this is already cured. I'm allowed to touch this with my hands, um, but you should be wearing gloves if it's not. We've taken it off the build plate, but I'll also demonstrate you know, what it would look like with a build plate on. Um, before we're gonna place this on here, we need to make sure that we take off the mirrored bed and then this will sit on here nicely. There's a little like inset ridge, there you go. And then this basket, uh, there's a little, a little bracket there on the back where it slides into there to hold it stationary. Just to keep smell in there a little bit. We'll throw the lid on and then let's turn it on. There we go. So you have the option to cure uh, versus wash. So right now we're on wash and uh, you can do a quick, normal or slow as far as the speed goes and you have a toggle button to switch between those, those uh, speeds. So we'll do a quick and then we can adjust the print time from two to 90 minutes, I believe. Um, well, let's see. So two, five, 10, and then we're going up in increments of five to, yep, 90 minutes. So we're just do a, a two minute wash example. Helps if I throw in my example print. And let's hit go. So as you can see, and as I, you know, I'm sure you trust me by now, um, it's spinning the propeller using the magnetic uh, spinning motion that's built into the base here. And our print is kind of moving a little bit, uh, but you can see that kind of vortex in the, uh, in the IPA there. Um, so, I mean, it's doing a better job than it just sitting there in uh, stationary, stationary alcohol for sure. Um, so we'll just let that finish. The mirrored surface on here is really for reflecting more of the UV light back at your print to try to make more effective use of that. And uh, when this finishes, we'll just slide this into the, uh, the little magnetic spinning part of, that's in the bottom of the base. 
and then this will, will rotate to uh, expose all the sides of the print equally to the UV light. It's pretty quiet. Actually, our HVAC system is louder than this. And so halfway through now, we've noticed it's actually reverse direction. So it slowed down and then it reversed direction and now it's spinning the other way. I was really hoping he'd move around a lot more, but he's small and dense, so unfortunately not. And I think I can just kill switch it. There we go. So he's all washed and we should probably use tongs. I mean, you know, he's not, the, he's still got IPA residue on him. If this wasn't clean IPA, I wouldn't want to be at this stage holding it with my hands either. Um, this is uh, just water, it's not actually IPA. And I said he was cured already. Um, but using gloves, protective equipment, um, dry him off. And then when he is dry, you don't want to be curing him when he's wet or still has a residual IPA on them, you'll end up with like a cloudiness in many cases. Throw them on there. And then we'd change from the wash mode to the cure mode. And let's uh, make sure we put on our UV shield. Okay. And so we'll cure him for five minutes. Hit go. You can see he lights up. The UV lights are actually all along this back piece and they go all the way up the height of the print. And uh, the fans have kicked in to, to cool the unit. So it's a little bit noisier than when it was just in wash mode. And, you know, I should pull the basket out and put the lid on. That's one thing that would have been nice is if there was a way to properly seal this um, with the basket still there. And I think honestly, with a simple modification, I'd be able to do that for sure. Um, So it finished and now it's extra cured. <laughs> um, but you know, it, a, a device like this, um, while there are many other ways to accomplish it, definitely makes the cleaning and curing process a little bit easier, uh, a little more convenient and it's like a, a two in one. Um, and you don't have to build or MacGyver something together yourself. I just realized that I almost forgot the most important part. So hopefully you found all that useful. Remember, like and subscribe and ring the bell to get notified when we upload more videos like this. Thanks for watching.